Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. The asphalt concrete factory in Yunhun town of Anyang City has long been a source of complaints for local residents due to its noxious emissions. However, this factory will now be replaced with a city park. GTV examined the details. This factory is situated close to a kindergarten, a primary school, and a middle school, as well as housing complexes. Air and noise pollution from its operations has been a constant subject of local resident complaints. 어떤 부모라도 나의 아이가 생명의 위협받는 학습 환경에서 공부하고 있다면 방관하고 있지는 않을 거거든요. 저희가 수십 년간 1998년 개교일에 지금껏 어, 애원하고 호소했지만 바뀌는 건 하나도 없었습니다. When Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung visited the area at the beginning of his term two years ago, he proposed the public redevelopment of the site. Recently, the province announced a revised plan for the construction of a city park on this 40,000 square meter site instead of the 1,100 public housing units that were originally planned. This change in planning stems from the fact that this area is still affected by heavy noise from a nearby expressway. The new plan is the first of its kind that utilizes publicly owned adjacent land for the restoration of a site in a development restriction zone. 개발 사업을 하게 되면은 이로 인해서 부작용이 많이 일어나게 됩니다. 그러한 부작용들을 상생할 수 있는 조건을 만드는 계기가 될 것이고요. 이러한 것은 한해 모범 사례로 타 지역에도 전파가 될 거라고 보고 있습니다. Gyeonggi Province plans to designate the asphalt concrete factory site as the subject of development restriction zone restoration this year. After compensating for land expropriation next year, the province will begin work on the city park with completion slated for 2023. Gyeonggi Province's labor policies, in line with the principles of Governor Lee Jae-myung, are geared to create a society in which labor is respected. Recently, Gyeonggi Province secured cooperation from Korea University for the development of such Gyeonggi-style labor policies. The current Gyeonggi Provincial Administration has been endeavoring to introduce new labor policies. These have included the establishment of a labor center in March of 2019 and a labor bureau in July of the same year, followed by the opening of mobile labor shelters as well as the launch of labor and human rights education programs. On February 10th, the province signed a cooperation agreement with Korea University's Graduate School of Labor Studies for the development of Kyungi style labor policies. According to this agreement, the two organizations will establish an executive committee through which to share information on current labor issues and develop optimized labor policies for Gyeonggi Province. They will also cooperate in policy research, labor specialist cultivation, and labor rights surveys. These cooperative efforts are expected to enhance the effectiveness of labor administration in Gyeonggi Province. Members of the Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly took action to help residents cope with the coronavirus outbreak. Recently, they participated in an agricultural product sales event and blood donations. Held in the lobby of the Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly building, this sales event featured more than 20 agricultural products from Ichan City, the host of a temporary quarantine camp for Koreans from Wuhan City in China. The participating Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly members made purchases to aid farmers who are experiencing difficulties during the current COVID-19 outbreak. 이천 시민들이 좀 환영 그 이제 거부감 없이 받아들여 주셔가지고 경기 도민으로서 너무 감사하고 해서 이천 시민들에게 조금 지역 경제 도움이 되고자 예, 구매하게 됐습니다. 
The COVID-19 outbreak has also resulted in a significant decrease in hospital blood inventories due to the cancellation of blood donation appointments. In response, members and personnel of the Kyungi Provincial Assembly voluntarily donated blood on a bus in front of the Provincial Assembly building. Coronavirus 19로 전국이 초 비상 사태입니다. 지금은 방역에 힘쓰는 일도 중요하고 또한 지역 경제 활성화 및 헌혈의 어려움도 조속히 해결해야 할 상황입니다. The Kyungi Provincial Assembly is striving to overcome the COVID-19 crisis through the operation of an emergency response headquarters and the adjustment of its itineraries. With the coronavirus outbreak negatively affecting consumer behavior and exacerbating an already difficult economic situation, a shopping campaign at traditional markets is being led by Kyungi Province and private enterprises. Our reporter was on site for the event at a traditional market in Pyeongtaek City. With the number of shoppers having dropped significantly, merchants have been severely hit by the resulting business slowdown. The biggest worry is that these circumstances will drag on indefinitely. Today, Kyungi Credit Guarantee Foundation and Pyeongtaek City officials, as well as CEO Association members, visited this market and made 10 million Korean won in purchases. Private enterprise personnel also participated in this campaign by ordering office supplies by phone. In addition, Kyungi Province undertook a promotional campaign for an expanded financial support program for small businesses through visits to those affected. Campaign participants made real purchases to help revive market commerce. Market merchants expressed their appreciation for Kyungi Province's efforts to promote their sales. Since last September, Kyungi Province has removed illegal business structures from mountain valleys. After removal, the province invited local governments to participate in a contest for provincial restoration project support for these sites. Last November, illegal facilities at Bekpal Resort in Gapyeong County were demolished in accordance with an administrative order. 지금 이곳은 가평 백팔 유원지입니다. 교각과 평상 등 불법 시설물이 사라지고 깨끗한 모습인데요. 이곳은 유원지를 찾는 누구나 즐길 수 있는 쉼터로 조성될 예정입니다. This year, convenience facilities for local residents and visitors will be installed in this restored valley. Invitations were sent to 25 local governments that are restoring rivers and mountain valleys previously occupied by illegal structures. The top prize of 5 billion Korean won went to Gapyeong County. 중간중간에 놀러 온 사람들이 쉴수 있는 쉼터와 주민들이 쉴수 있는 쉼터 그리고 또 구경거리가 강을 따라서 올레길을 만들면서 많은 사람들이 그 길을 따라서 구경할 수 있는 그런 공간을 만들고자 이번에 신청을 했습니다. Gapyeong County won the top prize of 5 billion Korean won with its ecological river development project. 장사를 해서 또 먹고 사는 사람 입장에서는 당장 먹고 사는 부분이 문제가 되기 때문에 참 어려움이 많이 있습니다. 깨끗하게는 해 놓으셨지만 지역 주민들이 먹고 살수 있게끔 좀더 기반 시설을 잘 지원을 하셔서 우리 지역 주민들이 소득도 올리고 또 방문객들은 깨끗한 지역에 많이 오셔서 편하게 쉬었다 갈수 있는 그런 아름다운 하천을 좀 갖고 주셨으면 좋겠습니다. The second place prize of 4 billion Korean won went to Pocheon City, while the third place prize of 3 billion Korean won went to Yangju City. In addition, nine cities and counties of the province will also receive provincial redevelopment support ranging from 400 million 
to 2 billion Korean won. 이번에 선정된 사업들을 신속하게 추진하여 올 여름 도민들이 계곡을 방문하셨을 때 깨끗하게 변화된 모습을 직접 보실 수 있도록 최선을 다하겠습니다. Cities and counties with selected projects will establish local resident and merchant communities for the management and utilization of new facilities with the aid of specialists. Recently, with a sharp increase in the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases, fear among Koreans escalated. After an emergency review of the response situation, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung announced his determination to be an exemplary case of effective and proactive responses to this contagion. On February 19th, when 15 additional COVID-19 cases were confirmed, Gyeonggi Province immediately reviewed the control situation, including the progress of patient investigations, as well as the availability of testing facilities, patient rooms, and hygiene products. During the review meeting, Governor Lee offered assurances that the province will continue to set an example in proactively responding to the disease. He also emphasized that response measures have to be revised since the spread of infections makes it difficult to trace virus-carrying individuals. He added that specific and comprehensive targeting must be used for high-risk areas. He also warned that excessive anxiety over the contagion may negatively impact economic activities and should be avoided. After the meeting, Governor Lee visited a traditional market in Ichun City to boost merchant morale. On February 20th, he visited another traditional market and commercial area in Guri City to help restore the local economy and commerce. A number of real estate brokers who illegally traded apartments by taking advantage of the special availability of housing for individuals with disabilities were apprehended in Gyeonggi Province. Real estate brokers conspired with organizations for the disabled to secure purchasing rights for new apartments like these now under construction. Using people with disabilities who are unfamiliar with apartment application procedures, they secured apartment purchasing rights and made illegal profits through resale. They were aided by senior personnel of organizations for the disabled. 부동산 브로커에게 중증 장애인 여섯 명을 소개해 주고 이 브로커는 어 장애인 특별 자격 Certified real estate agents who engaged in such illegal activities during purchasing right transaction restriction periods were also among those apprehended. Through such illegal transactions, apartment purchasing rights were sold for profits of tens of millions of Korean won. The apprehended brokers also include those who charge more than legally permitted fees, as well as those not registered or licensed. 경기도는 공정한 부동산 질, 거래 질서 확립을 위해 어, 부동산 수사 범위를 확대 강화할 계획입니다. 어, 집값 담합, 그 다음에 부정 토지 거래 허가 등에 대한 기획 수사를 집중 실시할 계획입니다. During the five-month period of the investigation performed by the Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police, more than 100 offenders were identified, with 54 being criminally charged and 48 sent to prosecution. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of DTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.